What's up guys? Graham here. Everybody's acknowledging me in the Warfront chat and uh, and waving at me and stuff. I love it whenever you guys take notice of me. Then probably going to be putting a video if you do that stuff. So playing some Nightblade action. So let's go in and smash people. Because Nightblade is explosive. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. Nightblade is just so good. I love it, man. If I wasn't so attached to my warrior, I would completely be a rogue fanatic. Because rogue is just all around amazing. I see we have Escadora in this forefront, as well as Jinry and Helios. Yeah, man. The Helios and Jinry are both running healer right now, so... Hopefully they'll keep me healed up. All those guys are very good players, so we'll probably stomp on this other team after after we get kicked off really good here. Seems like a range fight right now. Oh, I finally got somebody close. Alright. Come here, you! <laughs> oh, man. It. Everybody I touch just dies. Watch this. Boom, man. It, if I, oh, Dom. Oh man. It, if I if I hit if I get close enough to hit somebody, they're gonna die. Watch this. The only person that's gonna be able to stop me is like a really good healer that is just on point and can heal somebody up before I burst them down. Or the fun police, the Dominator. The Dominator can squirrel me and have me sitting here doing nothing. Which they're talking about changing uh, Dominator. They're talking about changing it to where it's not such a such a spec that ruins everybody's fun kind of thing. Because that's all Dominator does, basically. It squirrels people, it drains your mana, your energy, stuff like that, and it's basically the fun police. If you want to go into a warfront and make everybody just not happy, play Dominator. But I guess the 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 developers are seeing that as well, and they don't really like that. They want to change it to where Dominators. Oh, oh, taking too much damage. Eight thousand, eight thousand, four thousand, four thousand. Oh man. Whew. Thank you for the heals, whoever hit me with all that. Because I needed it, man. Gotta realize, not only am I running Nightblade, so that makes me target because I'm running melee. And also, I'm, I'm killing people like crazy. Uh, I don't need to be that close to team, man. Alright. Woo, man. They were lighting me up. But... That makes me target being a burst class that's, you know, kind of squishy. I'm getting kills, so that people are seeing that, and they see that they need to take me out. But also, I, I'm a bit recognized as well, so whenever people see Grim, they want to kill him. And luckily, I'm in a war front. Come on, get out of that. But luckily, I'm, ah, I'm not chasing him. He's just looking to kite me. That's like the oldest trick in the book. If you see somebody hitting you and running away while they're doing it, don't chase them. Just run the other way. They're already running away from you. You're going to be out of range in no time. So don't, don't get kited. But yeah, I, I got a huge target on me. Huge target. Everybody wants to see Grim dead. And then also I'm running a spec that can die rather easy because it's it's a, a burst spec that isn't tanky and also they're going to see my kills because everybody I touch dies man see watch this unless he he just manages to fly over to his team really fast nope not going to happen Nightblade man and, and this is a Nightblade spec that 
uh, I worked out with Escadora actually. I, I didn't really give him too much credit on the on the build video because at the time I was working with some other rogues as well, and they were going, "Hey, you're kind of making the macros uh, too simple and stuff like that." Because I have a soft burst macro, I have a hard burst macro. Basically, made it really easy for people to play uh, without hindering it too much. Well, then you get uh, the rogue players that, uh, well, whenever I make build videos, I try to seek out the best players of particular builds. You know, if, I, if I'm if i trying to make a, an amazing Nightblade build, I'm going to look for people like Escador and other people that are really known to run uh, Nightblade in a very good fashion. Well... Whenever I, I get all their advice and I take it and I go, okay, so I'm going to take all of their advice, their build, and I'm going to try to make it friendly to somebody that needs a guide. Uh, if, if you want a million and one buttons out with no macros and all that because you think that's how a spec needs to be run, then most likely you probably don't need a guide. You probably shouldn't be watching the guide anyway because you're already experienced at it. You already know what buttons to separate and everything. But if you're just learning the spec, you need macros and stuff. It, it, it gets too difficult if you don't have macros. At least starting out. Now there's some players that that's all they play. Like it, it, you'll have somebody that just plays only Nightblade and maybe a, a second spec and they get really good at it. Well, they might have every single ability out on a on a separate button. Hey, good for you, man. But I run way too many specs not to run macros because there's no way I'd remember all the buttons. All right, so I was just crushing everybody I touched. That was awesome. So let's see how good we did. And mind you, I don't have very good gear on my rogue, and everybody I touched died. All right, so we went seven and zero. We we received a lot of the heals. We're not we're not top in heals received or anything like that, but we got good heals. Thank you, Helios and Jenry, if you guys are foc focusing me some. Let's see what we are going to get from the supply. Oh, nice. Big upgrade for me. As you can see, I'm running blue weapons, man. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and there will be a link to this build at the end of the video. All right. As usual, guys, my name is Grim.